everyone, Electro here. I've worked out a test I can do to check the effectiveness of the gas processor. Now this is how this is going at the moment if you remember. Uh, there's the stainless steel inserts down there. These are the mercury vapour tubes. Let's go in there. Um, the LEDs for the photon bombardment. And that's been plumbed around the corner to the electron extraction circuit there but I, I haven't done anything about that yet and I've made it into a small outlet there now what I plan on doing with this because as it stands there at the moment if I just uh, push a little bit of compressed air through the inlet holes up here it'll give me, it'll give me positive pressure at the tip down there and um, I'll show you what I'm, what I'm up to with that yeah. Now this is the latest um, tip I'm up to at the moment, and uh, this is just a way of mixing um, processed air or ionised air or whatever I get from the gas processor uh, with the HHO, but I'm doing it above the the exit for the HHO so I don't get flashback I hope. Now I have ordered uh, a big flashback arrestor and a bubbler from Steve Delvis 11 uh, plus the one I've got from Justin at JDC Products so I'm covered that way but um, Steve's ones haven't come in yet I just paid from the other day so we'll just um, when I get those, I can hook them up and then try this. But I'll show you what I'm up to now. There, this one's got eight holes, and I'll just try to focus that. Yeah, you can see that it's um, relatively small in terms of output, but uh, this passes air or HHO really, really well. There it is, there, it's set with the investment just to make it airtight as it sits there. And what I've done here is um, I got myself a, a, a washer and I bent some stainless just um, just in a circle and then welded it all together and excuse me while I put this together now when I put it on here because you can see around the, the top here there's um, there's four holes drilled above the tips so when I put this on there those holes came inside with the holes on the on the stainless ring that I've made now I've also made this and I've only got one entry hole in it at the moment um, I might drill another one on the other side but I'll, I'll see how I go I probably will but what I plan on doing with this now is sealing that onto there with investment first and getting it fixed and sealed. Then I can put this on there and either seal it with silicon, both there and there, or just tack weld it, like this has been welded around the top here, as you can see. I've just got to finish it off there because I'm still just putting this together. And I can seal this here too with either silicon or investment material. Now, what that'll give me is a vacant cavity in here which I can inject the ozone from and I'll do it above the tip but I'll still do it, mix it in an area hopefully that's at the base of the flame so the gas gets or the ionized air gets mixed in with the gas. Now what I want to get from that is to see the effectiveness of the gas, uh, the gas processor. I've dug up old patents as well from other people uh, especially back in the uh, early 1900s and apparently ionized air was used a lot for the efficiency of internal combustion engines and um, anyway it's not only Stan that was doing that there's, there's been lots of people th through, uh, 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 for a long time that have been doing similar sorts of things so anyway um, with this then it'll be able to, I'll be able to mix either two different gases like ionised air and argon or just ionised air or whatever and get it to come in there. So when the flame is going, I can turn this gas on and off, so I can see the relative effectiveness of 
the on eyes there with the HHO. So anyway, that's it for now. Post your comments. Bye.